Hey everybody, Day Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Office Lovers. We are on Kunizo Mahiro's Rat on Chapter 5, Budding Love. And still no word of what exactly is going on. We know something's going on with him, but we still don't know what. We just are not progressing in our sleuthing department. And, uh, it seems like Otori has something... Uh, I don't know what's going on between Otori and him, but something's going on there too. Too many mysteries in the office right now. Let's see if any answers can be found in this chapter. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Mr. Saijo, do you have a minute? In the afternoon, Mahiro went around asking for people's opinion of his work. How do you think this design works looking at it from a sales perspective? It's much better than what I saw earlier. It's good, but it needs a little more impact. I would try something like this. Mr. Saijo saw how fired up Mahiro was and became excited to help too. Thank you. After getting his advice, Mahiro came back to his desk and started drawing again. Go figure. I knew I should have changed the color. After a short while, he rose from his desk and went over to Kentaro. Hey, Kentaro, can I ask you something? Is this more like he's getting everybody else to work for him? You bet. It's about this design. He laid down his sketch so Kentaro could see. I couldn't believe it. He had asked Mr. Kaido and Mr. Hyoga for help before, but never Kentaro. Something about him had changed. So, what do you think? That's great, thank you. It helps a lot. Time to fix it. He sat back down and poured over his work with intense focus. He worked without so much as a break all the way into lunch. He had been concentrating so hard that he hadn't seemed to hear the bell ring. Mahiro. Wanna go get something to eat? Or are you gonna keep on, keep that nose to the grindstone? I didn't realize it was already that late. You were too busy concentrating on your design. Do you want me to pick up something for you? Nah, I'll come too. I need a break from this. Okay. We headed out of the office and into the city together. We headed out into the city to get some lunch after a busy morning. Hey, I'll treat you today. What? No, we don't have to. It's fine. I gotta show you what a great guy I can be sometimes. No, save your money in case they don't like your ideas and you get fired. He smiled at me and squeezed my shoulder. Okay, thanks. Not long ago I would have refused. Now I could accept his kindness without question. I've changed. Huh? What did you say? It's nothing. I felt like I was changing. He was changing me. I couldn't go back to who I was. You want something in particular? Uh, hmm. Nothing? I can't think of anything. Then we can go to this place I know. They have a really good lunch. He gave me a smile before taking my hand and pulling me ahead. My heart started to beat faster and faster. Why was I getting so excited over just holding hands? Phew. Is something wrong? Your face is all red. Are you sick or something? Well, you just made me run a couple blocks, I think. Was I running too fast for you? Yes, that's it. Uh, that's not why. Although, I probably should say it was. That's not why. It looks like your eyes are watering, though. He put his hand on my forehead. Uh. No, not a fever. His face was so close. You seem fine now, but you should definitely take some medicine when we get back. I, I will. Of course I wasn't sick, that idiot. He ended up taking me to an Italian restaurant that he knew. It was delicious, thanks. Glad you liked it. We should come here again. For sure. I can answer him honestly for once. Okay then. Let's get back and see if we can get something done today. It was hard to imagine a corporate spy being someone so hard-working and full of energy. I truly hoped he wasn't one. We should have told somebody about our suspicions just in case. Back in the office, we returned to the meeting room to think about the design. That one brand has something like this. If that's the case, we can put this on the top. We went back and forth, exchanging ideas and looking at papers. And then... Okay, it's perfect. This will be good enough for sure. He showed me his finished drawing. I think you're right. This looks nothing like what we started with. The day had passed us, though normal work hours were long, and darkness crept into the windows. Okay, I'll be right back. Well, where are you going? To see Mr. Otori? Yeah, if he isn't satisfied, then this is all for nothing. He clenched his fists with a fire burning in his eye. Then let me come too. No, you wait in the office. I want to finish this by myself. 
I had really wanted to go too, but he insisted that I stay. Okay, good luck. Thanks, I'll be back soon. He walked away, but in confidence. I better go too. I went to the office to wait for his return. Hmm. I doubt anyone would be there at this hour. I walked into the office expecting not to see anyone at all. Hmm. I didn't know you were still here. For some reason, Mr. Otori was standing in the office when I came in. Even more, he was in front of Mahiro's desk. I wondered what for. I was working with Mahiro on the design. I was a little curious as to what was going on, but for now I just spoke normally. Oh, I see. Everyone else is gone, but you two are still hard at it. So, where is he? His face grew concerned. Uh, what was going on? Why wasn't Mahiro with him? Maybe they missed each other, although that's a little too suspicious. I wasn't sure if I should tell him the truth or not. His behavior seemed a bit different than usual. Mahiro went to your office. Hmm, what for? I thought the answer would be obvious. What for? He went to show you the design we came up with. Oh, yes, the design. I'm pretty sure he'll be looking for you now. Okay, I'll see if I can find him. Alright. By the way, what kind of relationship do you have with Mahiro? Huh? What was he trying to get at? He's my co-worker, of course. Hmm, I see. It's good if that's the case. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. He spun around and headed the other way, flipping his hand back in a wave. <sighs> I wonder why he asked something like that. Anyway, I still have to wait here for Mahiro. Hmm. It shouldn't have taken him long to go to Mr. Otori's office, but it felt like forever. I wonder if it went okay. Maybe he'd liked it and had approved it after all. Sitting alone in the office after work hours was unsettling. I couldn't relax. Come back soon. As soon as I had muttered that to myself, click. The door quickly swung open, revealing Mahiro had come back. I'm back. Hey! Did you talk to Mr. Otori? Yeah, I guess he was busy, so he couldn't talk for long, but I showed him at least. I wasn't able to get anything from him, except his first impressions before I had to come back. Well, what did he say? I nervously waited to hear what happened. Before he answered my question, Mahiro smiled and hugged me. He wants another meeting. He told me to bring what I've got. Nothing's decided for sure, but his impression seemed good. His voice shook with excitement as he continued to hug me. Congratulations! Thanks to you. No, it's because all the hard work you put into it. If you weren't there for me, I'd never have made it this far. That's why it's all thanks to you. He let me go and smiled at me. It was such a wonderful smile that my heart skipped a beat. I'm so hopeless. I'm so much in love with him that I'm going crazy. I've gone too far. I can't forget about him now even if I wanted to. Tears started falling as I thought of him. W what's wrong? He looked into my eyes full of concern. I... The words just fell out of my mouth. I love you. <sighs> his eyes grew large when he heard me and threw his arms around me. You finally said it. I knew you would. I knew you were the one. I love you. He exclaimed with excitement before moving in to kiss me. Mm, Mahiro! Mm. He stroked my hair gently as our lips brushed together. Mm. I love you. I love you more than anything. Me too. I can't believe this is happening, even though we were told relationships were forbidden. If we got found out by someone, who knows what would happen to us. But I couldn't stop my feelings. Not anymore. Our lips met again in a passionate kiss. <sighs> With our arms wrapped around each other, we covered one another in kisses in the empty office. Can I make love to you? Not here! He whispered softly into my ear. Oh my god, I have to say yes, but this is so inappropriate! Yes. You're acting awfully honest today. Can we go to a hotel at least, please? There's no use in lying about it to myself, since I realized my own feelings. Mr. Otori could still be here. Thank you, Dorili. I felt something warm inside of me whenever he spoke my name. He let go of my arm and set me on top of the desk. It was my first time doing anything like this. My heart was beating so hard I could hear it. Okay, I'll be gentle. Okay. I nodded 
Amahiro smiled at me, softly rubbing my head. His face came closer when we kissed. Hmm. Hmm. He pecked me with kisses at first, but they soon became stronger and deeper. Ugh. Hmm. He chuckled when our lips parted. You're pretty good at kissing now. I didn't know how to before you. So it's my fault you changed? Don't tell me I'm suddenly a virgin in this route. A smile glows on his face. I'll change you even more. I'll change you so that you can't live without me. He pulled me even tighter and kissed the nape on my neck. <sighs> he put his lips on my exposed stomach, making my body shiver. You're sensitive here. I wonder if you have other spots. Maybe. I avoided answering him, and he squeezed me tight. I'll look for them. I won't stop halfway tonight. I'm going to explore all over your body and make love to every bit of it. He slowly peeled away my clothing. That... <sighs> sounds naughty. Sounds naughty? We'll be naughty for sure. I guess so. It's embarrassing, though. I tried to twist my body, but his firm grip prevented me from moving at all. That's fine. Get embarrassed. He buried his face in between my breasts. Hey! Here it comes. The tip is all hard. Because you were feeling me all over. Should I touch here, too? Uh, oh! Moans and other naughty sounds came out of my mouth. All sounds that didn't belong in an office. Mm. It was different from the time at the hotel. He was taking his time and being gentle. You okay? Yeah. <sighs> You're being so gentle. I know. It's our first time, so I want to do it as gentle as possible. Uh, thank you. He squeezed me tight. His cheeks flushed red. I'm your boyfriend, so I have to take care of you. Hmm, my boyfriend. Thinking about it made me blush. Even though it was already obvious, putting it into words was still embarrassing. And then... Oh, I can't wait any longer. I need you. He had been teasing me for too long. All the stored up feelings came through in my voice. Okay. Mahiro was as gentle as he could be to make sure I wasn't in pain. <sighs> Does it hurt? He stopped moving as soon as he saw my face twitch. I'm okay. Keep going. Okay. I felt the warmth and the love more than the pain. Can you feel it? I'm all the way in. Yeah, it's so warm. I love you. Me too. I love you. We confessed our love to one another. Our lips met again, and we pulled together tight. That day, we had finally become true lovers. I couldn't remember for how long it went on. Eventually, I became tired and sleepy. When I woke up, I was laying on the sofa in the office, covered with blankets. Hmm? He's not here. I peeked around the office, but couldn't spot him anywhere. I wonder where he went. My curiosity got the best of me, and I got up to look for him around the office. I relied on my sense of smell and followed the scent of his cologne. What am I, a hunting dog? Then I spotted him. What's he doing in Mr. Otori's room? Uh-oh. Are we catching him in the act here? When I saw what he was up to, I went the other way as if running away. So he's a spy after all? No matter how I looked at it, that seemed to be the unavoidable conclusion. When I first thought he was a spy, I told myself I could never date him. But now... I love you, Dorilli. Even if he was a spy, I can't hate him anymore. No matter what, I loved him. But... What if he found out I had proof of him being a spy? Would he leave me? Not knowing what to do, tears started rolling down my face. I had to stop crying. It would be awkward if he found me crying here. I hurriedly wiped off the tears. Click. The door opened. My hero was back. Huh? What are you doing up? Why are you crying? Do you regret what we did? He ran over to me, his face full of concern. His eyes stared into mine, looking for answers. Uh, no. No, it's not that. Then why? I... Something you can't tell me? I nodded. I see. I'd like to know what it is, but I won't try to force you. But if you're going to cry, do it in my arms. He sat down next to me and hugged me gently. He held on to me like that 
until my tears stopped for good. You better now? Yeah. Sorry for crying like that. It's fine. You don't have to cry alone anymore. I'll be here for you. Embarrassed, he pulled me closer to hide his face. Aw. Okay. We're lovers now, right? That's right. Still can't believe it? I just woke up, so everything seems kind of fuzzy still, like I'm still dreaming. He leaned towards me and softly kissed me. You felt that though, right? Yeah. Good. Hey, I went to Mr. Otori's office earlier. Why? What were you doing there? I wasn't expecting him to bring it up at all. To get a blanket. There was only one out here. That's it? Reasonable explanation, huh? Yeah, I figured he would have one, but I couldn't find any. Oh. Why would he tell me something like that? Hmm, I guess he saw us see him in there? That's all you did in there? Are you sure? My brows furrowed, and I demanded to know more before I could stop myself. Y you shouldn't have left me. Be by my side always. The really? Don't leave me. So, did you figure me out? My entire body shivered at his words. I... Is telling him the right decision? I had a feeling if I did, we wouldn't be able to maintain this relationship. I've always had this vague feeling that you knew. I'm not good at deceiving others. He lowered his head in regret. It was never my intention in the first place. I was only trying to help. Anyway, it's over now. I'm not involved anymore. He squeezed me tight. Trust me. So, you're done with it? Yeah, of course. No lies. He looked straight into my eyes when he said it. There wasn't a single sign of doubt in his eyes. Okay, I trust you. I nodded firmly before falling into his chest. Thank you. I love you. Oh, but is it true? Are you really not going to disappear? I mean, I know there's going to be happy endings, but still. And you could tell me what actually happened, you know? And that would be helpful. All right, well, Chapter 6 will be a dangerous scent. I guess we'll be led on by his clone more. Use our hunting dog senses to follow him around. Well, I hope to see you there or on one of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.